three days after 92,000 documents were leaked about the war in Afghanistan, a realization and a new fear. A closer review of the papers shows that they contain the names of Afghans who worked as U.S. sources, providing sensitive information to help. People whose lives may now be on the line, and here's Martha Raddatz. We are blurring the names of the informants, but Al-Qaeda and the Taliban have already been able to see them on the WikiLeaks website. Names of ordinary Afghans who have risked their lives to help American forces and now could very well lose their lives. It's entirely possible that within days, weeks, uh, people will be killed as a result of this kind of a, uh, an exposure. There are numerous examples. The identity of the district chief of a village we won't name informed coalition forces that the Taliban are planning to attack district offices soon. This one names a man who is trying to defect from the Taliban and turned over a letter about Taliban plans for attacks. And another one, the name of a local man who had gone to the U.S. military to tell them the name of a Taliban leader responsible in a recent attack by an estimated 100-plus Taliban fighters in response to U.S. operations. The head of WikiLeaks, 39-year-old Australian Julian Assange, who has been outspoken against the war, told the Today Show he blamed the military. Every week, um, another hundred or so uh, people are killed uh, in, Afghanistan, in Afghanistan, and that number is increasing. So we shouldn't let uh, these rumors about whether there are uh, additional names in there or not, which may be serious or may not be, but it clips the, the bigger problem. Amateurs like WikiLeaks either don't care or have no idea how to protect sources and how to protect lives. The Pentagon is going through all of the documents as well, and local commanders will certainly try to do what they can to help those Afghans who are at risk. But, Diane, because of the massive amount of reports, there's no guarantee they can get to the people in time. Get to them and to their families to get them to safety. Thank you, Martha Raddatz.